Hey guys, this is Tyler here. It is November 2nd and I want to discuss here about the famous actor Sean Connery. Sean Connery is a very famous actor from the UK. He's actually the first guy who starred in the James Bond series that was based on the novelist that was based on novels by Ian Fleming. He became a very very well-known actor and basically was the superstar actor of the franchise, James Bond. Some people may remember him from movies like Dr. No from 1962 or Thunderball. These are just two of many that he starred in. And I think he left some amazing lessons for all of those guys to learn from and, and just embrace as MGTOW guys. I believe that Sean Connery from the James Bond series was the quintessential guy that was one of the major early people of, that embraced this MGTOW philosophy. Regardless of this being considered a, a fictional movie or movie series, I still believe there's a lot of value that we could gain from this particular series and especially from the roles that Sean Connery played in these early James Bond roles. And it's also worth noting that Ian Fleming, the art, the author from UK who was the writer of the series, I, I believe this guy also had a very good understanding of both philosophy and behavior and the natural gender dynamics between men and women and, and many other things. And also very good understanding of history, innovation, and technology that was to come. I'm gonna go over some some points here that we can take from Sean Connery to live by from the James Bond series. And the, these are all, I think, really useful for all men out there, but especially for MGTOW guys. I think they tie in very, very well to how a lot of us already live, our philosophy in life. Number one is to show compassion. And when I say show compassion, I'm not saying to be weak. I mean, show compassion in the sense that you know when to move past a situation and maybe a woman that's let you down, they've cheated on you, they've disrespected you. And sometimes it, it can work to confront the situation but other times it shows more strength as a man to walk away and also if there's been something that she's done wrong you can also show the your strength of character that you, you can walk away and th this i think really shows a a truly internally strong man you're not going to go making a big production out of this you're going no one to walk away and this could also apply with situations with other guys when when the this is needed when, when you have to bring forth this trade you you can certainly bring it forth this like i said it's not a situation of where it, it shows weakness this is typically in situations where you're already pretty well acquainted with the other person for people so it, it could be for both genders but I think especially with the ladies this comes into play number two is don't be afraid to ask for help this is really key because you, you may remember in James Bond series that there were times when he, he would need help and, and you certainly want to find specialty expertise and this also goes back to being humble as a guy and, and knowing what your weaknesses are and when someone can help you out. And this is, I think, key here. Number three is something I think every person here can benefit from, and this is to be physically and mentally fit. I think this is a very, very good trait here, and this is probably in the top three of traits here. And as we know, of course, James Bond, always very fit. He kept strong body, strong mind, and I, I think also strong soul, especially strong body and mind here. And as we know, you could be one or the other, but it's especially helpful when you have both, physically and mentally. I think these kind of go hand in hand, and you'll just feel better as a guy. It, it serves you well. So whether you like to weightlift or do martial arts or run, combat sports, what, whatever it is, I think this serves a purpose. It, it's really critical here, and you don't know when you may need the, these type of skills. The next one here I think is a very stigma trade in that it's to not always follow the rules. 
Now this is something I think is especially for guys because as we know I think um, we tend to be a little better at knowing when to follow and not follow unwritten rules. Knowing when not to follow rules I think is the real art and science combined. Of course you have to be careful and understand the context that it, it's appropriate when it's not appropriate. If it's just outright breaking the law when it's it's doing something that's completely illegal that could put you in jail or prison yeah don't don't do this but when it's applied in the right situation i think it serves a purpose and i think it shows a, a guy has a real like edge that they, they show kind of something that's more distinct it sets them apart from other people so this i think we saw we saw this trait very often i in many of the James Bond films and the next one is to always be calm okay this is I think a very important trait for all men to follow here calm cool collected when you're calm you'll think better you'll probably make better decisions on the fly you'll actually be better off in every respect we remember in Goldfinger 1964 film when there was that famous scene with the laser beam and they were going to try to essentially amputate him with this very heavy duty laser and he obviously remained calm and he, eventually he escaped out of the situation. This is a great example here but I think this also can be utilized in a metaphorical way also in the sense that remaining cool and collected will get you by in any situation in life whether it's with work, family, especially for MGTOW guys like myself who live in a foreign country, you have to consistently remind yourself of this. And also understand that when you are in high intense situations, you'll actually be able to perform better. Many, many guys actually who fight in the UFC or are pro athletes often, this is actually really important for them to understand when they need to be calm because this will help keep their state of mind in the right place. The next one is to dress to impress. I think this is one that so many guys have kind of let go to the wayside. I think in the society we live in, people can kind of get this concept confused here. It's it's actually often a situation where dress a little nicer, honestly. They look a little more put together when they're out, but by having a good appearance, it, it sets the tone for what the ideals people have. And, and trust me, people get subconscious. They have very subtle ideals of someone even before they interact with them. And some may say they don't like care how you look, how you dress. I don't personally buy that. I think most people to some degree, even if it's subconsciously, do form opinions. Knowing how to, it doesn't just mean wearing like nice suits, but whatever your work setting is, wearing stuff that, that looks well tailored and looks good for whatever it is that you're doing. I used to work in like a very physically labor job, but even in that situation, I'd still always try to look good. I used to work around truck drivers with UPS, and you'd be surprised. Many of these guys, even though it, it was kind of a messy job in certain cases, these guys really took a lot of care into their appearance and really always tried to look as good as they can. Set a tone for the company and the, the image of UPS. And the, this will always help guys here. You'll always be better off dressing nicer than d dressing less. Always dress nicer if the opportunity arises. The next thing here is to take calculated risk when it can be done. And this is key here understand the difference between calculated and uncalculated risk. Calculated is having a very probable likelihood that you'll succeed and understanding what the probability is and all the preparation to succeed has been put in. That's This is what taking calculated risk is. As a man, I think this is such a pivotal foundation to our lives. Obviously, if we want to be big in anything, basically, we have to be willing to take some big risk. And it's not, not taking foolish risk, taking calculated risk. And yeah, there is a probability you won't be successful, but you have to go with it. Of course, in, in Bond films, it, he's taking risk often, like at a poker table, putting maybe a few million chips out there against someone else and of course he would always win but not that this is just the case in poker this this example can be used in all situations and i think this is a point that ian fleming the author of, of james bond was trying to get across to men that 
of, of using this particular example because poker was very common in this day and era from into play you can apply this situation to other aspects of life the next thing is to understand and and master technology this for me hits really hard at home i obviously live in a major tech hub of europe in estonia here it certainly is useful when you understand how to use it don't over supplement it on your life know when it's necessary but you don't need to overuse it you use technology find your areas where it complements it makes your life more efficient you can do stuff quicker and easier and make you more successful this is when to use the technologies available whether it's through your phone car through anything any any kind of like efficiency hacks that technology can help you with this is a great time to utilize technology here and also understand in cases like when you have to have correspondence face to face with people you're going to need to have these real life skills mastered much more often than the technology the being able to text or to call someone doesn't require the same skills as being able to have face-to-face -face correspondence and at the end of the day the face-to-face -face correspondence will usually always take precedence so understand when tech is good and when you should just try use old-fashioned methods here next thing here i think is another major point that we all can act well here as guys and that's being romantic when it's necessary if you meet the right lady and to embrace the time that you spend with this lady whether this is your your spouse or a significant other understand that human contact with other genders is just a part of life and you can always enjoy this and embrace and make the most of it and obviously bond was notorious for his his flair and his romantic edge that he would often have he was just able to carry himself in a way with women that really appealed to them and also understand that a lot of the other things that i spoke about other parts of life if you master those ones naturally this area this romantic one will actually come a lot easier this this one will you won't even really have to think about as much because those actually all play a role in ability to attract a woman or attract other women the next one i think is is really critical and something that my dad would emphasize a lot with me and also famous youtuber better bachelor the joker also i think really puts a lot of emphasis on it's knowing when to take relaxation time and just making the most of this time understanding too that the relaxation time is for relaxation and to try keep work out of the equation when necessary you don't need to mix work if it's time to be relaxed always remember of course in these bond films that when he was relaxing he was relaxing usually and i think too it goes back and shows how times were five six decades ago when we didn't have all the technology if you were relaxing as a guy you were relaxing you didn't have a computer or phone or any of these devices to occupy yourself with so sometimes it helps actually just to turn off these devices if you can as a guy have a backup plan this is so important and this i think also very much captures the essence of james bond have a plan b plan c knowing when to have a backup plan is what often will separate someone who's truly successful from a guy who ends up not succeeding this is really important here a backup plan of course is something that the military i think really emphasizes they really understand the importance of redundancy especially in the special forces the youtuber nomad capitalist also puts extra attention here having a plan b c d there are times of course where you should be extremely focused on your plan a the main plan but most of the time you should have a plan b c and maybe even d it, redundancy in case something goes wrong and we saw this of course so much in in bond films when he he ways of getting out of very bad situations his life would be on the line and he he would have a special device he had he would have martial arts skills he would have perhaps another comrade who would come to his aid there, there was some sort of redundancy here and this is i think really key as a guy a plan b or c will always serve a very good purpose if something goes wrong next one here is i think very famous and, and well known of course is 
And this is one that actually famous Napoleon Bonaparte, the French general who conquered most of Europe at one point in time, really understood is not licking your wounds in front of the enemy. And this could be looked at both metaphorically, literally, or just one of those. You don't want to expose yourself too much weaknesses weak points with people that shouldn't know these weak points. The, the people that are in your inner cir circle that you trust, they can know about these weak points, but everyone else should not be aware and, and should not be exposed to these weak points, and especially a woman. They, they shouldn't be totally revealed to these weak points. You'll typically prevent a lot of issues in your life as a man if you can understand this and just try to keep yourself not overly exposed when it's not the right time. Next thing here, I think, and this is something McTell guys understand well, is to fight for what causes that you believe in support. Don't fight for things that you don't believe in. And we, we've discussed this in other videos here. Thing could be utilized in other people's lives and understanding that you shouldn't fight for a cause that you don't really believe and you don't really see. And th this could also be if you're pursuing a certain business or some kind of opportunity and you don't really believe in it you're not committed to a hundred percent it's maybe not something you should be involved with you you should perhaps avoid getting involved with this and this is really important as a guy as you get older you understand this more and more i definitely understand this more as i get older in the last areas live life to the fullest whatever it is in your life you're going to have challenges you're going to have setbacks but always look at the positive things that you have in life and also try make the most of your life. Pursue life to the fullest max. We obviously saw that even though he was often fighting, even in, if we look at a movie like Thunderball, he would be scuba diving for leisure, but then also he would be using the scuba diving to pursue criminals. And life, of course, is going to have setbacks and challenges, and you have to make the most of it. You only have one life to live. Always see the positive things that you have in your life, even if it's for work or you have to do something that's a bit uncomfortable. You can still try to find positive aspects or things about it that you enjoy and, and that give you satisfaction about doing this this job and even in, in bond films we could look at as a guy you're always going to be basically on a perpetual mission in your life once you understand this and you make the most of each day you'll just value your life more and appreciate the all the positives there are to this there are to your life. I look forward to your feedback in this video below.